Hi friends, welcome back to Reader's Workshop. Today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about growing our big ideas about our non-fiction books even more than we did last week. So I realized the other day that when readers ask questions, it's just another opportunity for them to grow big ideas about their books. So today I want to teach you that when readers learn new things, they often have questions, right? A lot of times when you're reading something new that you've never read before, you have a lot of questions about it. So when this happens, readers don't just shrug their shoulders and say, hmm, I guess I hope I'll find the answer as I keep reading, right? You can stop and consider all the information that you've learned so far to come up with a possible answer to that question. Then they keep reading with their question and their answer in mind to see if they can confirm, right? To make sure that their answer is correct or change their thinking. So a lot of times readers can do that by saying, since it says here in the book, hmm, I bet, hmm, or the book says, hmm, so that means that maybe, right, coming up with our own ideas about the books. So I'm going to show you how I can do that in my book today. So we started reading this book about our five senses, right? You can't smell a flower with your ear last week. So I want to show you how I can come up with some big ideas by asking questions and then coming up with some ideas of what I think it might be. Right? So I'm going to read this page about hearing, and then we're going to think about some questions that we might have from this page. It says, you want to fool your friend. You say, you can't see your ears. Yes, I can, says your friend. Who is right? You both are. Your friend can see the outside part of her ears, but she cannot see the other parts. Those are inside her head. So when I was reading this, I was thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder how many parts of your ears you have, right? Because a lot of times when you think of your ears, you just think of your ears that are on the outside. A lot of times you don't think of the parts of your ears that are inside your head. So my question that I have is, I wonder how many parts there are inside your ear. So I know already that part of our ear is called the eardrum. So I know that part's already on the inside. But since it says here that there are other parts, right? It says parts, plural. So that must mean there must be more than one. So I wonder how many parts there are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jot that down on a sticky note. And I'm going to write my question, how many parts? are there inside your ear right so that's my question and i know that there is one part that's called your eardrum but i'm not sure how many other parts are so i can take a guess so it's saying hmm here's their outside part and then there's the eardrum but there are other parts so i'm just going to take a guess and say there might be two parts inside your ear. So in order for me to figure out if I'm correct or if I'm incorrect, right, I have to keep reading to think about whether my idea was right or wrong. So I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna figure out if my question, if I can find the answers to my question and if I was correct or incorrect. So it says the inside parts are the true hearing parts of the ear. Your ears pick up sound waves in the air. Sound waves are tiny movements or vibrations. You can hear vibrations. Sound vibrations in the air go into your ear. They hit a stretchy skin, your eardrum. Then the eardrum vibrates too. On the other side of the eardrum are three tiny, tiny bones. These bones start to vibrate too. Beyond the bones is a tube filled with liquid. The liquid starts to vibrate too. These vibrations make nerves near the tube send messages to your brain's hearing centers. You need your ears and your brain to hear. So if I want to figure out whether my idea was correct or incorrect, right, I can look at this diagram, right? So I knew that there was the eardrum as part of my ear on the inside. And that my idea was that there were two parts, but it looks to me, right, there are the bones, the nerves, the tube, and the eardrum. So actually there are four parts inside of my ear. So I'm going to write that down. There are four parts inside your ear. Right, so my idea, my idea was it correct? No, but that's okay, right? Because a lot of times when we're coming up with questions that we're, while we're reading, we don't always find the answer, right? So sometimes you find the answers to your questions and sometimes you won't. Sometimes you might be right and sometimes you might be wrong. But the most important part is to push yourself past asking a question, right? You have to ask yourself a question and then what you have to do is try to find that answer using the information that you're using to grow your idea, 
right? You don't want to just stop and say, hmm, I guess I'll figure it out later in the book, right? Use your brain to think of some ways that you could grow your big idea and see if you're correct or incorrect. So today your job while you're reading, right, you're going to set your timer for 25 minutes like usual, and you're going to read for 25 minutes with your nonfiction book. But what I want you to do is when you come up with a question for yourself, I want you to see if you can come up with an idea or a possible idea of what the answer might be to that question. So just like what I did in my book, I didn't just say, hmm, I guess I'll find out later, right? I came up with an idea. I took a guess. My guess wasn't correct, but that's okay, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to come up with some ideas and some possible answers to your questions that you might have today. Look for the information in the book that's going to help you figure out whether you were correct or incorrect. So set your timer for 25 minutes come up with some questions and some possible answers to your questions. And then when your timer goes off, you're gonna to read to your partner. You can share those ideas with your partner, just like you did last week. Off you go.